Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to learn how to use index and also index match combination in Google Sheets. So index function also works just like VLOOKUP as a lookup function. And all you have to do is choose the array that you would like to work on. And then you have to specify the row that you would like to bring. So let's say we would like to bring geometry to here or algebra so all we have to do is after choosing the array we put our delimiter and to be able to get algebra we need the first row so we put one in here after you put your delimiter again we need the third column for algebra because this is first second and third so write three for column Close your parenthesis, and after you hit enter, you will be able to see that algebra was shown in here. But we want this formula to work more dynamically. Even if we just copy and paste the formulas, just like this, it won't work at all. So how to do it? This is where the match function helps us. So, as mentioned in my previous videos, the match function help us to locate a cell in an array. So let's say we would like to look for a place in this array. So we would like to get the number six. Our search key is a. Put your delimiter and then choose your range. And then a search type, as we learned in our previous video, the exact match stands for zero. So after you close your parenthesis and hit enter, you will be able to see the location of the cell you're looking for in an array. So we use the same logic in index formula. And all you have to do is bringing this structure into row and column. So let's write the formula from scratch. So write index and then choose your reference which is the array that you're looking for. Close your array and then choose your row. So for the code MA101, we need the first row. So we have to match this search key, which is MA101, in this range. And then we're looking for an exact match. So we put zero and close your parenthesis. So now we have completed the row section, which this match function will give us one. But we also need the column as well. So we write another match function for column as well. Write match. And what we're looking for is the classes location in an array. So we match class in this array and we're looking for an exact match. Close your parenthesis again and then again for the index function. So once you press enter, now the property or feature you're looking for will be shown in here. You just have to be careful if you're going to copy and paste your formulas. You have to lock your arrays with brackets carefully. So we want to copy and paste the formulas in here. And also we want to copy and paste the formulas in here. So we don't want any of our codes to shift any right. So we're locking the column. And also we don't want the class cell to go down. We only want it shift to right so it could find credits as a lookup value. So in here, we're locking the row. Now we can just copy and paste as formulas and we will get the proper results. And not just that, we can also copy this and paste here as formulas and it will also bring the credits as well. This is the reason why index match function is my favorite lookup function. It has so many advantages compared to VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP. 
and it works in dynamicity that you want. This formula has a lot of methods or ways to work on. You can just take a cell in here if you have the interface just like this. And then, for example, you can make a drop down in data, data validation. Let's add a rule. Our criteria will be drop down from a range. And let's select these codes. Sorry. Now we have to select these codes. Done. And now we can change the codes just like this. Now you can just take the class and credit cells just like this. Let's delete these because these are formulas. And then you can write your index match function into these formulas so that when this changes, these one also changes as well. So let's write our formula index this array. Our row is match search this key in this range with an exact match. Close your parenthesis, go to the column section, write your other match function as well. We want this to be found in here with an exact match. And close your parenthesis and then hit enter. Now we can see that the class is shown just like this. Now let's do it for credits as well. Our formula is also ready in here. All we have to do is lock this array so it doesn't shift because I'm going to copy and paste the formula. And that's it. So when I'm going to copy this formula and paste it in here, now class and credits will change according to my selection in the drop down. So there are many various ways to use index match. If there's a way that you would like to learn, you can comment on the video below so I could make another video about that. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe if you like this video and follow for more. Thanks for watching.